Donnie Dagger probably took, um... I think he's, he cut it twice. This is the second time he cut it. He cut a rough version of it, I think, at the record plant. And then when, when the studio was finished and built, uh, we came in and cut it. I think the track was cut in one evening, this whole long section. As you, as you can see, it goes on and on and on. going to do here is I'm going to show you um, how Dolly Dagger was broken down. I'll show you how uh, it's broken down into bass, drums, guitar, Jimmy's basic rhythm guitar. The uh, One of the lead vocal tracks was put on at the same time as the guitar was put on. Uh, there was percussion at the same time as the basic track was cut. And then there was a lot of overdubbing, fuzz bass, extra percussion tracks, another lead guitar track, drum overdubs, foot stomping, background voices. Uh, here's the drums. And now the bass, which is taken direct, uh, direct feed from the bass guitar right into the console, and there's an amplifier track which is usually quite distorted, but we use it for that effect. And then Jimmy's basic guitar, which is taken in stereo, with a direct feed on his guitar and an amp feed. He has the direct, which is very clean. And you can hear the difference between that and this. And in stereo, it sounds pretty neat. <clears throat> we have the bass back in. See the bass and the bass and the guitar are playing basically the same line together. This kind of locks the rhythm in. And then at the same time we have this percussion track going on. As well as a conga track. This is cut live. It's pretty good separation. Thank you, Electric Lady. There's a plug if ever I heard one. Now, we'll try and find the fuzz bass guitar overdub, if we can find it. No, it hasn't come up yet. It'll be somewhere around. Here's a lead guitar. And a lead... Jimmy put on a, a lead vocal at the same time as putting on this lead guitar, so he could get into the mood of the vocal as well as putting on the guitar. And I'll split it up for you. That's the leakage you're hearing. Jimmy's standing in the studio with a huge bank of marshals, of course, and there's a vocal mic on him too, so you're hearing that on his vocal mic. And here's the fuzz bass. back and find the point where the uh, the background vocals come in. That was yet another overdub. But Jimmy is singing in there with the ghetto fighters. And, and another vocal track which we never used. Back to the Okunga track. Oh, here's the foot stomping track that we have. That was kind of interesting. Trial. That's an echo to it.
nice line in there, tribute to Devon. Jimmy says, um, well, you'll hear it, I'll play it to you. I'll just pull the tracks down so you can hear what he's saying. Because I think Devon was in the control room at the same time that he was doing this. I think the song was uh, obviously right. dedicated to her. Here it is. Watch out, Devon. Give me a little bit of that hill, then. It's kind of a nice touch. is a very complex track many many layers of sounds and Jimmy's lead guitar somehow floats through the whole thing and, and, and locks it all together